Jesus predicts his death and transfiguration. A reading from Mark chapter 8, verses 31 to 37, and chapter 9, verses 2 to 9. He then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and after three days rise again. He spoke plainly about this, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and led them up a high mountain where they were all alone. He was there, then he was there transfigured before them. His clothes became dazzling white, whiter than anyone could bleach them. And then he appeared and there be, they appeared before them, Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say. They were so frightened. Then a cloud appeared and covered them. And a voice came from the cloud. This is my son, whom I love. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they no longer saw anyone with them except Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus gave them orders to t not to tell anyone that they had se what they had seen until the Son of Man had risen from the dead. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, as we continue to walk with you toward the cross this Lenten season, expand our minds to the concerns of God. As we behold you, bless us with the courage to pick up our own cross and reveal yourself to us in new ways. In your name we pray, amen.